Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD Off-Road Long Box in the color white. Let's take a look. Starting up front here, underneath the hood, we have the twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 389 horsepower, 479 pounds of torque, towing capacity up to 11,000 pounds, payload up to 1,740 pounds. Up front, LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, fog lights down below. Across your front bumper, you'll have these little round nodules. These guys are your front parking sensors. Up front on your grill, you also have both the TRD as well as the Tundra logos. On to the side here, we have 18-inch alloy wheels. On your front doors, you have that Tundra logo down below. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals and blind spot monitors. And then on both of your front handles, you'll find this little dimple. We'll talk about that guy on the driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting, and on your rear doors, you have your SR5 trim level badge. Up top back here, you'll find we have the bed lamps turned on. These can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. And your rear windshield is also power adjustable. We'll take a look at that guy when we get up front. On the back of your bed on either side, you have your 2D 4x4 off-road sticker. On the back, just like on the front, you have your backup parking sensors the whole way across. Left-hand side, you have that 4x4 badge. Hitch receiver and spare are on the bottom. Tundra logo the whole way across the back here, and then on your handle is your backup camera. To open up your bed space, reach into your handle and press the button, and it should be able to gently lower itself down from there. Another Tundra logo across the back. You can take a look along the inside of the bed. As we said, we do have the lighting in the back there. We do also have tie-down hooks as well as bed rails. To close it up, reach down and bring your tailgate back up into its starting position. Next, let's take a look along the inside. Inside here, your interior upholstery is the black cloth with black stitching. You also have this texture point that you'll find on your seats. Down below, you'll find this little strap here. If you give this guy a release, then you'll be able to lift up your seats and access all of your storage space down below. Currently down here, we have a couple accessories, including the Tundra carpeted mats. All the units come with both carpeted and rubber sets. Up top, very similar, next to your middle headrest or passenger headrest, you'll find another little strap. Reach in and release that guy, pull him forward, and then you have all of the storage space in behind here, including having your little toolkit here for your spare tire. Now, looking forward, on the back of your front passenger seat, you have pouch storage. Back of your console, you have your cup holders and your cubby space chargers down below. Then you have your storage spaces inside of your door here and your power window control. Back now to that little dimple. This guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here to lock and unlock the unit. Inside the driver's door, you've got power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls, then lots of storage underneath there. Up front, you have power adjustable seating, back front up down lumbar support, hood release latch on the bottom left hand corner of your dash. On top of that, you have your headlamp levelers as well as you have your heated steering wheel control. Black leather steering wheel, black stitching with the TRD logos, which match the logos and the stitching on the gear shift. On top of that, you have your backup parking sensors, odometer trip, dash brightness, automatic start stop, automatic headlamps, and then the controls for that cargo space lighting. Up up here and take a closer look at the controls you'll find on the steering wheel. Left hand side, controls for your dash display, hands-free communication and your volume control. Right hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, including sonar and lane departure. On top of your dash space, you'll find this little cutout cubby space, got a 12 volt adapter on the left hand side of it, and then underneath is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently, you're looking at the optional navigation. You can choose to connect this feature through Toyota Connected Services. Under that, audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and there's optional USB adapters all throughout your unit, such as the one on the bottom corner right there. Then, phone connectivity to connect your personal device to the unit via Bluetooth. Then you have your trip information and then all of your general settings. So everything from personal profile, Bluetooth, audio listening, general notification, display, dealer info, security, apps, etc. Volume is on the bottom left corner there. Underneath, climate control center, dual climate control up front here. This allows driver and front passenger to have temperatures synced up. Or if you turn off the sync mode, they can then function independently. 
defrost for your front and rear windshield as well as side mirrors here. Under these, you have three variant levels for heated seat controls for driver and front passenger. To the left of this, you have your red TRD push start ignition. Underneath is your trailer brake controls. Then you have your traction control, your four ways and rear diff lock. Parking brakes, gear shift, two wheel, four high and four low controls, driving versus towing mode, as well as your MTS and downhill slash crawl. Then you have all of your storage space up front here. Turning towards the back, you can focus more on your console. Got two layers of trays, top and bottom. Bottom one also slides open. Lots of storage inside here, as well as additional charger space. Then it also opens up like a normal console space would. On the right hand side over here, you've got the storage compartment, goes the whole way across. Tundra logo on the corner, lockable glove box down below. And then up overhead, you've got your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting. And then on the left, this is the control for the power retractable rear windshield. Take a look at it in action. Press the button in to have it roll down. Pull the button up to have it roll back upwards. You can stop at any point along the way to suit your personal preference. Great little built-in feature to have a little, a little extra airflow into your cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD Off-Road Long Box in the color white. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, like this full choices, let us be yours.